In this video, I'm going to be giving a bit of a guide on ground vehicles for this sale for the anniversary. And this sale starts today when this video is being uploaded. Uh, as you can see, there's no sale yet. I'm recording this just a few hours before it's going up. And this will probably, the video will probably be live a little bit ap just after the sale starts. So if you're, you know, looking for something that you want to buy for the ground tree, uh, come and look at this. Uh, I'm going to be giving uh, all the different nations. There's going to be timestamps down in the description. Uh, if you only want to look at a specific country, if you want to watch them all, that's great. Uh, and please like and subscribe if you're interested in, in watching more of my videos. Uh, and let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with the U.S. and go from left to right. Now, I'm not going to really cover too much of the lower tree, just as I don't see a whole lot of purpose in, in like, buying it. Like, yeah, they're cheaper, but, you know, it, it's just not a whole lot of a good point, just because you're going to go through it real fast once you're up to here. Because, of course, premiums, premiums are good, can research all the way down, but they can only go up one little bit above. So, if I'm starting down here in rank 3, I would say go ahead... I believe you can still buy the M18. This is a really good pickup. Actually, I'm not sure. If, oh, you can't buy this anymore, can you? I believe that or if you can, I would say pick it up. If you can't, they might have taken it off the store. If you can't, that sucks. If you can, I would definitely grab it. The Cobra King is pretty... I mean, they did just up here to 5.7, which I usually use it at anyways. It is the 75 Sherman. So this is a decent pickup. I would go ahead and maybe grab it if you, if especially if you wanted to add to your 5.7 lineup, it's pretty good. It's the exact same as this jumbo, it's just premium. So if you already have this, maybe you have it spaded and you're just, you know, you want a bit better bonuses, you can either grab this, add it to your lineup so you can have a second, or you can just replace it in your lineup, and there you go. Now, okay, uh, um, for the most part, I'm not going to be talking about every single one. I'm not going to talk about, oh, well, here's why you shouldn't buy most of these and then buy this. But I will talk about the Calliope. This thing is ridiculously expensive. Unless you just have a ton of money sitting around and have no problem buying this without on a sale anyways, do not buy this. Even on a sale, it is ridiculously overpriced, and I cannot believe that they priced it this high. It is utterly insane. As we go into this next tier, uh, I have a few different... There's quite a few in this tier that are actually really good, and I would suggest. So, let's start off down here. The Super Hellcat, it's just a Hellcat, but with the 90 mil turret, it's pretty good. Uh, M26 T99, I enjoy this, but I probably wouldn't buy it. Uh, I mean, well, I, I would say I would buy it again, but... Unless you're just looking to spend a whole lot, I would save it for something else. Maybe grab the M26 E1, because this has a bit better gun than this. And now this does have the rockets, and that can be helpful in a few situations. But overall, you're going to be having a better time in the M26 E1. And the M46 Tiger and the T29 go together really well. So if you can grab both of them, that's great. If you can only grab one, the T29 is probably better. Now the M46, of course, has heat and stuff, so you're going to be doing really good. If we're going to look up here, if I was going to grab one of these out of all of these, I would say, honestly, I don't know. I would probably say the T-54E1. Then the Magok 3 is pretty good as well. But, of course, the T-54E1 has a pretty good gun. Its rounds are really great. And it has an auto loader, a five-second auto loader. So that's, that's a very big benefit. Now, if we're looking up here, all we have is the XM1 GM, which I believe is still on sale. Now, there was a bit of a nerf, uh, this patch. Uh, the This had around 360 degrees of pen, uh, flat pen, and now it has 291. So that was a big nerf, uh, unfortunately. And I believe that there was uh, the angled pen was slightly increased, but it only seems like it was by eight, like two millimeters. So it's over, pretty, still pretty much overall a mass, a pretty big nerf. Uh, now, if the XM1 GM is still pretty good. Its mobility is good. Its armor is not good against, like, Sabre or anything like that. But if you can get yourself in a good position, you'll be fine. So I would say this is good, but I wouldn't pick it up unless you're really trying to build your 9-3 lineup or something like that. Because just for a little bit more, you can grab one of these, if not both, honestly. Like, if you if you can grab both, 
great. If you can just grab one, I would probably go for the M1KVT. Now, the, I am a bit disappointed, and I'm probably going to be picking up this and maybe even both during the sale. Um, I'm going to pick up a few things, and I might even make a video on what I'm going to pick up. I'm not sure quite yet. But I would go with this, despite the uh, Wolfpack having a better round. It has M900 over... Oh, let's not do that. It has M900 over M774, which M774 is decent, but if you go ahead and take a look at M900, yeah, you look at it quite a bit better. 519 versus, what was it? Yeah, 370. So you're looking at, you know, over 140, nearly 150 more millimeters of penetration. Now... This is still pretty maneuverable. It's just an M1, the same thing as the one on the tree here, but it has the different camo and stuff on there. Now, this should have been an M1A1 because that's what it was in real life. And this is just, I, I don't, I, the reasoning was bad, but whatever. Let's move on. I'm spending too much time there. Now, if we go ahead and look in rank three, there's a bit of stuff here, but honestly, I wouldn't grab any of it. If we go ahead and look in rank four, what you could grab is. The RU251 is pretty good. It was amazing at 6.7. Even at 7.3, it's pretty good. I usually use it at 7.7. .7 and it does pretty well there. Its heat is good. Uh, it's just baby like... It basically is just like a baby leopard. And the other thing in here I would say grab is the Tiger 2H SLA-16. It's just like a Tiger 2H in the tech tree, but it has a bit of a en better engine. It has 750 horsepower versus 700, so it's slightly faster, um, but not by a whole lot. You know, if you're going to go ahead and look up here, uh, one of the things I would be considering grabbing is the M47, which at 7.3, this is really good. It's, you know, just another M47, kind of like out of the US tech tree. Uh, I enjoy this very much. I don't play it a whole lot. I've only played it a few times, but I do have fun in it every time I play. And we also have the term three. Now the term three is extremely good. I believe all it all it has all of its rounds in the auto loader, and it has a five second reload. And it also has a thirty millimeter, 30 millimeter cannon, which is extremely good. You're gonna get a lot of kills with that, especially on light targets, but even on heavier targets, you can get a lot of kills. And you can take out tracks and barrels, do a bit of track and barrel torture, and you're gonna be able to help your teammates out a lot, kill plenty of enemies. And now we're going to take a look at rank uh, 6. So we're going to take a look at the TAM 2 IP. And I believe the L44 is still on sale. I could be wrong, but I think it still is. If it's not, my apologies. I would say pick this up. Um, uh, both of these are really good. It just depends. I mean, honestly, the Leopard A1A1 doesn't have a whole lot of armor anyways. So the TAM 2 IP is probably... I think it's a little bit faster. So... You know, I, it just depends on which one you like better. I would say take into a test drive and grab, you know, and grab whichever one you like better. Now, this has a 120, so it's going to do a bit more damage once it pens. But if we take a look at the round here, DM33, which is really good, especially at 9.0. And honestly, I was forget, I forgot it had a DM33. I don't know why, but it's 400. So this does have a bit more pen, but of course, this does. A bit more damage. It doesn't have a whole lot more, but this does more damage once it does pin. Now, looking at the top here, we have the Leopard 2 uh, Panzer Battalion 123. If we take a look at its round, I believe its top is DM 23, which is a little bit better than DM 13. This has, and the Leopard 2 Panzer Battalion is pretty good. It's just another Leopard 2 uh, A4. So if you're looking for something like that, I would go ahead and grab it. It's pretty good. Its armor is not awful actually of course a lot of things can still pen it but if you play it right you're going to be doing pretty well in it if we go on to rush over here now of course we skip all the way up to honestly i'm going to go ahead and skip up to rank four no i gotta be careful here because i know quite a few of these are event vehicles the t34 85e i don't believe is one uh, i would grab this probably it's a good t34 you know, it's just another T-34 with an 85mm. It's pretty good. All right armor. It's not the best, not the worst. Uh, it's got a pretty good gun, though. So you're going to do well with that. 
And honestly, I would say probably skip over most of the rest of this. They're decent vehicles, but they're not particularly amazing. Both these are good, but their reloads are quite long. Of course, this is only 15 seconds, but again, it's only 15 seconds. The gun is pretty good. The armor at that, you know, uh, BR is starting to lack a little, but it's not horrible. It could be worse. Now, if we're going to jump up here to rank 5, you do have the IS-6 and the Object 120, and I would say both of these are really good. Now, it just depends on whether you want armor or you want a gun that pens literally everything you can see. So, of course, the IS-6 got a better round and up to 7.7, .7, and the Object 120 is now at 8.0. It's been there for a little bit, but, you know, it used to be a lot lower. And now if we go up, I'm going to skip up here. The T-55, I don't think it's on sale anymore. And even if it is, I would skip over it. Now we have both of these, the, T the T-72AV terms and the 2S-38. If you can get both of them, that's amazing. And they complement each other ex extremely well. Of course, this is an SPAA in real life. And it works very well as an SPAA in the game as well. Uh, just because of its proxy rounds and its tracking ability. Uh, for planes and helicopters. So you'll do pretty well against taking out any sort of aircraft that are going to mess with you. Of course, it has a really good auto cannon. Its round is pretty decent. And of course, the T-72, it doesn't have amazing armor, but it's just another T-72. It's got a good, it's got the manga round 3BM-42. So if you could, uh, if you had to choose between one of them, I'd probably choose the T-72. Um, Though the 2S38 is really good as well. It just kind of depends on what you want. If you want something that is a bit more versatile, I go 2S38. But if you're looking for just something and you know, haven't played a whole lot, I play the T72AV. Because this can, as good as this can be, you'd be surprised at how easily you can get killed. At least you can't get machine gun to death in the T72. Now we go over to Great Britain. And unfortunately it's Great Britain. So there's going to be a lot I'm skipping over here. Um, I would say for rank four, you got the Centurion Action X, which this is pretty good. I would go ahead and pick this up if you're looking for something around 7.7, .7, maybe 8.0. 8 8.0 8 is pushing it, honestly, like as good as this is, and honestly, it could be fine at 8.0. Then you're going to start seeing some things that are 9.0 and just, you know, not be having as much fun when you're getting that high. But if you go up all the way up here, really, I'd skip over all this stuff. Uh, I can't remember when this came out, but if the Khalid's on sale, I would go ahead and grab it. It's another Chieftain 9.0, or 9.3, I'm sorry. Uh, it's pretty good, so grab that if you're, you know, looking for something around that BR. But other than that, I would just go straight to the Challenger DS. Uh, it's just a Challenger Mark III, and, you know, it's... You'll be, you know, you'll do pretty well with it. It's got, you know, pretty good round L23A1, nearly 400 millimeters of pen. It's not the best, but at 10.0, it, it's still pretty good. It's, you know, it doesn't have much hull armor, so if you, as long as you stay hull down, you'll do pretty well. Uh, you're gonna have to learn how to play it, of course, and you're gonna suffer a bit, but definitely could be worse. If you were in Japan, Japan doesn't have a whole lot here. Uh, for rank 3, the Chinu 2 is amazingly fun. I would definitely grab this on sale. It's a really good pick. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... Hurry Prototype's fun. Uh, I can't, honestly can't remember if it's still on sale. If it is, I would say potentially pick it up. It's interesting. And it's just, you know... It's just... A worse hoe reproduction. Of course, not that these existed, but that doesn't matter. Type 75 MLRS. This is fun. It's a nice little meme vehicle, but it's not good for grinding. Do not buy it unless you're just having fun. Now, both of these, the Type 74G, I don't think this is on sale anymore, which is really unfortunate. Now, actually, while I'm here, I'm going to switch my research. I forgot to do that. I haven't played Japan yet today. And we have the Type 16, which this is really good. I would definitely say if you're looking to grind your Japan tree out, uh, grind that Type 81, which I will be doing as soon as possible. 
get this. It's pretty good. It doesn't have a ton of armor, but it's it's fast. It has a good gun. You know, you've got your M735. It doesn't have the same rounds as the Type 74G, unfortunately. The Type 74G definitely has a better round, but it's not, like, awful. I mean, 291 to, what was it, you know, 403, which it's over 100 millimeters more. It's about 110. So this is quite a bit better round, but this this round this has will still do pretty well. Now, if we go over to China here, uh, I would honestly say skip everything all the way up to rank 5, where you're going to see the Type 69 2A and the ZTD 59A. Both these are pretty good. I would say if you're looking at one, pick up the Type 69 2A. Uh, that's pretty good. It's a 3. Uh, I believe it's a one-plane stabilizer, and you have heat and APDS. You do. And you also have a bit of APHE, which this is good to carry a few with you so that you can uh, get, you know, nice little one-shots and uh, explode some turrets. Now, the, you know, all these are nice, and honestly, I can't remember what's on sale or not. But, well, I mean, of course it would be on sale, but I can't remember if they're still selling them. But the ZTZ-96A uh, prototype is pretty good. I would say you should go ahead and grab it if you're looking to grind out your China tree or just whatever, or add to your 10.0 lineup. It's pretty good. It has pretty decent armor, surprisingly. Its gun is pretty good. You know, you've got a 464mm uh, pen at 10.0. I will tell you firsthand, I have played this at 11.3, up tiering it, and actually I think I've even played it... I haven't played it with the MLU yet. I've only just put this in there. But I've played it at 11.3 with the Z19. I've done perfectly fine. It didn't have as good armor up there, but it still had pretty good, and the round is really good, even still there. We're going to hop over to Italy here, and again, I would skip everything up to maybe the M26 area day, which, of course, this went up to 6.7, so now you're going to be seeing a 6.7 Pershing, which is... I was already playing at 6.7, so it's fine. I think it's fine, but it probably really shouldn't be 6.7. So, if you're looking for something around here, pick this up. It's not bad, but it definitely could be worse. Now, all the way up here, well, I don't think this is on sale anymore. You're looking at the VRCC. So, just another Centauro 105. With, I believe, we're looking at the wrong thing. I, click, I keep clicking the wrong button. But if I take a look at yeah, his DM33, so you got 500 or 405 millimeters of penetration at 9.7. And this is pretty decent. Um, you know, it, it's pretty good. I would say pick this up if you're looking to grind the tree. I know I only give you two options here, but yeah, it's Italy. They don't have a whole lot to go on. And now if we take a look at France, you know, we're going to have a, you know, taking a look at the rank four. You do have, you know, your AMX-13, uh, SS-11, which is pretty good. It's an AMX-13, so you got a 5-second autoloader. The gun is pretty good. The SS-11s are decent. Yeah, you know, you're going to have to control those uh, with a keyboard, but they're not bad. They definitely give you uh, some additional weaponry. And at 6.7, it's pretty good. So I would say, as well, the... Samoa SM is something you should definitely pick up. They did increase its BR to 7.7. It's still really good. The turret armor is pretty much non-existent, though the whole armor is pretty good. Not many people are going to be penning that at all at 7.7. So go ahead and pick this up. You know, it's got that auto loader. It's just overall a really good tank, as long as you don't get shot in the turret. Now, taking a look at the MX-30 Super... This is going to be, of course, one of your top tanks, uh, other than this, which I don't have, and I can't talk about it. But if you're looking for a tank to buy, I would say go definitely go with this to grind out the tree. Um, you have an alright reload. It's not great. It's not horrible. 
Um, you know, it's it's a 9.3 tank. You have a decent round. If I go take a look at the modifications, you have 358 millimeters of pin. It's not the most amazing in the world, but at least this does have a stabilizer. And, and I believe it has it does have thermals. So it's a pretty good tank. Could be better, but it's by far not the worst. If you go take a look, look at Sweden, they don't have a whole many, uh, but this one, rank three, the SAV 2012-48, this has a 1.2 second auto loader. I don't think there's a whole lot of money. Um, I believe it's a pack premium, so definitely take a look at this, and I would say grab it. It's not amazing for grinding the whole tree, but it's still pretty good. You have a pretty good round. It's 120 millimeter cannon at 3.7 with 1.2 second auto loader. I mean how much better are you going to get? So go ahead and grab that. Now, if we go all the way up to the CB9105, you're going to be taking a look at this to grind the tree. Now, it's got the 105mm L50 cannon with DM33, I believe. Yes, it does. And, you know, it's got a 5-second autoloader. It's pretty quick. It's got good thermals. And just overall, a pretty good vehicle. Now, if we go take a look at Israel... We have really only four options here, but I'm not, honestly, I would skip the M51. It's decent. I like it, but you're only going to be able to grind these first two ranks with it. The Magok 3 is decent, but again, I would kind of skip over it. I mean, it's all right. Now, the Shock Call Delay is good, and I would say if you're looking for something around 9.0, pick this up. But just above that is the Merkava Mark II D, which is at 9.7, and the reload is all right. It's not the not the best, not the worst. But if you take a look at its round, it has 405 millimeters of penetration, which is basically on par with DM33. In fact, I think that is DM33. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe that's just a different name for DM33. Uh, it has decent armor. It's not particularly great could be it, there are definitely tanks with worse armor the whole can take some trolley stuff but i mean you're not going to be eating anything super powerful but you'll you'll you can take a few hits here and there but overall if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe i also have a uh, discord down in the description so go ahead check that out if you'd like and i uh, hope you guys have a great day